Good afternoon, gentlemen. It is April 29th, and uh, you know, some of you just received your mid midterm report cards, some of the grade 12s, and I'm in the process of uh, calculating, um, you know, the updated marks from my other courses. So sit tight, and you know, that'll happen. You know, everyone should have their updated, uh, or not their updated mark, but their mark by March 13th, or uh, sorry, March, yeah, their March 13th mark by Friday. Um, I'll do what I can to, to get that posted. Now, for the rest of you, uh, hopefully you're working away and, and chipping away at this uh, Instagram assignment. Now, I've had a couple really good questions from uh, some Charlie and Howard and um, uh, uh, Evan actually asked me some some more complex questions, and I'm not going to address the object-oriented stuff in this in this uh, video, but I can deal with some of the simple, the more simple. Um, uh, the more simple, uh, I guess, strategies for for dealing with uh, these texts. So, this um, this video is going to focus on string building. Okay, so we've kind of uh, so far when you know when I run this program, I'm going to stop it for a second and rerun it. And so here is an example, and we can add a smiley face. Okay, and you see that it it, it breaks it, it, it breaks our, our, our text down into um, uh, into an array of words, and then we can count uh, we can loop through it and count the number of happy faces and sad faces, and it gives us a total. Okay, but then once you've determined how many happy faces and sad faces that that you have, um, you might want to come up with a strategy for. Um, for eliminating them okay now this is more pertaining to the Instagram assignment you know you might want to remove some of the inappropriate emoticons but um, I'm gonna say well let's let's try to create an emotionless text okay so and no happy faces or no sad faces and, and I think you'll be able to use that uh, to, to help you complete your Instagram assignment so what we're going to do, and I'm going to add, um, initialize a, a new string at the top, and I'm going to call it emotionless, uh, emotionless text. Okay, and I'm going to set it equal to uh, an empty, an empty string. Okay, no space. Okay. Now, once I'm going through my little algorithm here, you know, in, in this in this place down here where I am counting. Right where I'm, I'm, I'm counting my happy faces and cap, counting my sad faces. I know I've found something that I need. Okay, so once I know that I find a happy face, I want to remove it. Okay, so I'm going to use my array of words here. And um, at this point, right, I'm going to take that word and I'm going to set it equal to um, uh, an an empty word. Okay. So essentially, whatever that word was, we're going to replace it with an empty word, okay? And I'm going to do the same for, right? I'm going to do the same for a sad face, okay? So I've counted it, and then I've replaced it with something, okay? And so once we get through this little loop, okay, we know that um, by the end of this loop, uh, we'll have counted all the happy faces and counted all the sad faces. Uh, but we won't have any 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 of those uh, any of those emoticons left. Okay. Now the last little trick here, um, you know, if I was doing, going to just print this um, print uh, array of words, let's see what we get here. Okay, so let's do an example. Okay. So here is an example with. Okay. And I'm going to go happy, and I'm going to go um, sad, and a couple more words after, and we're words after. Okay. So we've broken down our string, and then we can see that when we print array of words, right? There's nothing left in um, in our in our in our in our new array of words. Uh, that that is inappropriate, or that sorry, that is happy or sad. We've we've replaced them with these two empty strings. 
okay? Now, that doesn't look like really a proper text. So um, one of the things that we can do here, instead of printing things like this, um, or even if we, if, we, if we used a for loop and printed them one at a time, we would still end up with a list like this, okay? And, and that doesn't look like a, a proper text, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use what's called a, a string building technique, okay? So a string building, you know, it happens, um, uh, uh, you, you see it um, uh, quite a bit. Uh, in it's just a strategy for um, uh, for for adding adding strings together. Okay, so I'm going to use a for loop here. Okay, so I'm going to use my copy my loop that I have, and I'll keep that print array of words there just to to, to show you that it's working. So um, for this. Uh, 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 for this for loop, this is my string builder. I'll put a little comment here. String builder. And um, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our emotionless text, okay? And we're going to start rebuilding, right? Rebuilding our, our, our string with all the words in array of words, okay? We know that array of words is clean right now. So we can say, um, let's use emotionless text, okay? So motionless text is equal to motionless text plus, right, we're gonna take the array of words at position i, okay? And then um, when I do that, well, let's start there. Let's let's print, let's, let's, let's try and run that and see what, well, first of all, we gotta see what we're printing. Um, so at the end of it, we'll just print our um, happy face. Uh, no, sorry, we're gonna print our emotionless text. Okay, so we can see what that looks like. Okay, so let's run an example. Okay, so here is an example. And I'm going to go, okay, and happy face, haha, -ha. and sad face, ha, -ha. la la la, enter. Okay, so one of the things here, so we've, we've, we've broken it down. We've we've dissected it. We've found all the uh, the 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 happy faces and sad faces. Replace them with empty strings, okay. And um, and then when we go to rebuild it, right there there's this is almost perfect. We've we have our example and there's no empty strings in there. But what what we need is we actually have to reinsert the spaces. So when I'm building my my text after I add a word, I'm going to. Right, head down here and I'm going to also add a space, okay? So let's run this example and see what it looks like. So here is my happy text. Looks great, okay? So, um, here's my happy text, looks great, A. So we do have a little extra space there. Now you could go through it again and, and, and clean out that, that, that double space there. Uh, maybe I can leave that to you and, and, and you can play with, with that a little bit. Um, but, but really, essentially, we've cleaned our text and, and we've gotten rid of the inappropriate emoticons, or sorry, we got rid of the happy and sad faces so that we now have an emotionless text, okay? I think this uh, will help you, um, uh, you know, break down your Instagram uh, captions, uh, search for inappropriate emoticons, uh, remove them, you know, if that's, the, if that's what you choose, okay? You can count them, you know, using the same algorithm. Okay, and you can also rebuild them using a string building technique uh, to print them out, uh, so that that you know you can save the reputation of your fellow Neil, your, your Neil buddies. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, thanks for your question, Howard, and um, uh, and uh, Charlie. Maybe I'll try to address your question in a different video. Okay, uh, stay well, gentlemen, and uh, I miss you guys. And um, congrats on all of you guys who got into your programs for, for university. And um, congrats to everyone in, in grade 12 who you guys did fantastic on your midterms. And uh, I'm really proud of all of you. And, uh, you know, my wish is that we get to see each other before the end of the school year. Um, you know, I really, really love to see you guys. Okay. 
but until then, uh, oh, stay well. Okay? See you, boys.